another uh, story. I got some bad cops right here. Check this out. Cops caught violating man's rights in broad daylight. And someone said in the comment section, and I've been saying this is true. It's point on. There are some areas that cops don't care if you don't match the description. They'll, they'll stop and detain you, violate, light, they'll violate your rights. They'll make up laws to justify an arrest. You know, people say, yeah, it's, 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 it's to maintain order and maintain the peace like that. No, what it is, it's called quota. Cops have to write amount of certain amount of tickets and make a, a certain amount of arrests to make quota to receive their paycheck. Otherwise, if they don't, they get demoted. Mm-hmm. Check this out. Oh, no, thank you. Yes. No, thank you. No, come here. Are you detaining me, sir? Yes, I am. Stop. For what crime? Stop. What is your reasonable, turn articulable? Around. Do not touch turn me, around. sir. Turn around. For what have I done? I'm detaining you. Turn around. For what suspicion? What is your reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime? The man recording here alleges that his rights are being violated by the Kent, New York Police Department after he was stopped and handcuffed while walking in his neighborhood. What is your RAS? <laughs> it's funny? My freedom is yeah. funny to you? Yeah, no, it is. It's hilarious? I just say you get stopped and handcuffed. Why are you doing that? Yeah, yes, you are. are. When criminality is afoot and we do have what a complaint. What is your reasonable your description? suspicion? We, we don't have to give all that to you. What We're is the problem for cause? I have plenty of it. You do? I do. I've never seen you before. Well, good. Nice to meet you. Now that we've heard both Kevin Owens and the officer say that they're investigating a complaint of criminality, where Chief Owens goes so far to say that the man detained matches the description of who they're looking for, let's have a listen to the 911 call with the description of the suspect. NYPD. Can you describe him to me? Yeah, he's wearing like gray pants, tan, like Carhartt type hoodie, uh, male white. Yeah, it just struck me as strange, but like, usually people were hanging and then they just go away, but yeah. so there for a little while, and then he wrote the, something down, and then I saw him go into my driveway. So not only does the original complainant provide a description that doesn't match the man being detained, but a screenshot of the alleged suspect later provided to the police further confirms that the original description provided to the dispatcher was accurate, and is definitely not the man currently being detained. We had a call from a bunch, several people, saying that there's somebody entering properties, knocking on doors. Opening windows. Opening windows, and they match. You match the description, so that's why you're. you're yeah, right where you are. Huh? yeah, ring doorbell camera. Oh, okay. So that's like that's what. That. That's fine, and we will, and we're confirming that you're only really being detained yeah. right now. Okay, you're not under arrest. What do you mean I'm not under arrest? You're not under arrest. We're just you're trying to explain to you what's going on. Charged with the crime, what you said. Yeah, you're not charged with the crime, but you're not. Tar you're not under arrest. You don't know what the word arrest means. Okay. Well, you're being arrest detained right now. Okay. Detained would mean the whole. Okay, but I'm not here to argue with you. Can we just explain this? You can do whatever you want. We're just trying to tell you what's going on. Right now. Okay, you're so not being charged with a crime. Arrest. Exactly, but I am still under arrest. You put me in handcuffs. And if you that's your definition of it right now, at this point, we're just talking. We're explaining you our circumstances. Oh, you've done more than talk, sir. Very fine. I don't care what you said. <laughs> well, cars and cops are like, well, you can say, well, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're just fucking coming to their ass. They're trying to do cops playing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it, they'll sit there and say, yeah. You know, it, this guy, it was, he wasn't arrested, but he detained. But the fact was they had to handcuff him and put the back of squad car. That's kidnapping. They, they abducted and kidnapped this guy for what? Because supposedly he missed a script, match description, and we just saw it was a totally different guy. And the guy was clean shaven. This guy has a goatee. And the guy has kind of a maroon pink uh, hoodie on. This guy has a gray hoodie on. Hmm. Makes you wonder. I'm just explaining to you what's going on right now. We're confirming if you match the description of that person right now. Okay. If you don't, and you there's nothing wrong, you're going to be released. Okay. I wasn't here for that. I'm just telling you what we're here you to do. You cannot do this to somebody. You have to have the evidence first Sir. before you can detain somebody. I didn't put handcuffs on you, did I? Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Somebody did. Of course. And now you're being detained. And that's no, it. No, I'm under arrest. Okay. I All right. right. Well, we we, we, we try to tell you what's going on, okay? We just want to let you know I what's did. going on. All right. But you didn't tell me why my okay. life is being violated. The officer then mutes his body cam again for another three minutes as they supposedly try to figure out what exactly is going on here. Hi, man. Who's it, Joe? 
Oh, there's no deal. I don't have anything to make a deal. No, no, it's fresh. Really fresh, guys. There's another guy going around. That looks like me. Sweatshirt. Well, you we have, have to find that out before him. After being shown the picture from the complainant's ring doorbell. You know what? And that guy's 100% spot on right. You know, cops just kind of make an assumption like that and all of a sudden detain somebody, kidnap somebody, then try to, no, they need to get the facts right. That's why when they get a 911, they need to get all the details from the dispatcher of, you know, for a break, for, you know, pinpoint. They just can't go on assumptions or vague like that. You know, they say, well, we're going to have to detain you and kidnap you. Then figure it out. Or oh, it's going to take us about a half an hour. No, you need to figure it out beforehand. This guy was just going about his day. That we previously saw. The detained man, Ryan Theodore, has his handcuffs removed once the police realize their mistake. What is your name and badge number, sir? What is, that's what you tell the judge? What is your name? Can you articulate it? Can you articulate it, please? Can you articulate it? Chief Owens from the town of Kemp Police Chief Owens. Okay. My officers all have what? their names right what on What is your badge number? Articulate, please. It says right there. Three articulate seven. it, please. Good. Articulate it, please. I'm not articulating it. What is your badge head. number, sir? One. Number wow, one. wow. You have disdain for the public? No, I have disdain What is your name and badge number, sir? Thank you very, sir, for your professionalism. Have a great sir. Day. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Jason F. 35. Thank you very much. And Theodore would not be done yet in trying to prove his innocence and hold the department accountable, releasing a follow-up video on alleged comments made by Kent Town Supervisor Jamie McGlasson. She's taking the liberty to go to news media to try to clear the police's name, and she says things in here in her report that aren't true. Unbelievable. Yeah, you see, this is the problem I have. This is what cops do. They try to cover their, they try to cover each other and their ass. You get like a super, a supervisor or a chief or a lieutenant like that. Then they do a cop plan a one oh one to like, well, my officers were re, were within their legal right of their law. <laughs> Police, you're just covering your fellow blue bitch. Come on, and disgusting. Now she's these untrue facts to the public for dissemination. It's just not right. Theodore's multiple uploads on his YouTube page about the arrest reveal that he has filed a formal complaint to the Good New York Attorney General's office as we await more info about the next steps regarding this case, and we'll keep you updated as those become available. Yeah. I'll try to get you more updated. That was really fucking bullshit, yeah. It's stories like that that make my blood boil and really get me going. It's another case of happy fuck the cops day. Hashtag fuck the blue and fuck you too, funny bench warmer. Anyways, I'm out of here, my job. Peace out.